Welcome to another exciting edition of Skydive Stories. Brought to you by the hilarious history of skydiving, The Endless Fall. And make plans to donate to the National Skydiving Museum. And now, here's Mike Swain. The story is I was knocked out and had no memory of the jump or being on the ground or taking my gear off or this guy, you know, getting in his car. I went from about to land about two feet off the ground over an orange tree, blackness, you know, just enough time to go, oh shit, I'm dead. And the next instant, I'm talking to this stranger in his car. And so he, he said, well, I saw you fly by and I knew you guys shouldn't be there. You know? So I drove over to see where you landed and there you were on the ground just lying there. Dead, I thought. So uh, he said there was lightning. He said a friend came by, but there was lightning all around, and he left. And he called 911, and they couldn't get there because he said there isn't any address. This is an orange crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fifth so, tree on the left. So about 15 minutes later, I come to and get up, and he says, "No, don't." moved, the ambulance is on the way, and I said, I don't need no stinking ambulance, you know. He said, well, yeah, okay, but just one question. Did you always talk like this? Or I said, yeah. He said, okay, that was the right answer, you know. I was backing up and it was bad. It was just, you know, uh, floor to uh, squall. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Are you glad you weren't in a hustler? <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, it was bad. It was just, you know. And, and I, my n n nose was broken, I thought. My arm also, I thought. I was bleeding all over and everything, so he g got me back to the airport, and the s storm had passed, and John says, okay, hurry up and pack, we still have one more <laughs> jump to do, so I'm trying to pack, and I can't, with my arm is, is dead, and I'm bleeding all over my gear, and, and so they said, oh, okay, well, we'll just do it tomorrow, so... Uh, they said, hey, you ought to go to, to uh, ER because, because you're n n n n n knocked out. Said, no, no. So we get back here, and a few beers later, they said, you really go, ought to go. And I had Kleenex stuffed up my nose, and the bartender was going, well, you know, who is this guy? So finally they said, you know, we're going to drive you over to the ER. Said, okay. So I go there. I'm the NER, they got uh, x-ray done fast. But then I'm in a room all alone for an hour or more. And uh, man, if I was in b bad pain, I, I'd have been. Were you in the skydiver suite? Did they have a special place at the hospital for jumpers? I guess jumper? not. It was just, you know, a bare room. So <laughs> finally I just walked down and said bye. And they said, you can't leave. I said, you watch me, you know. <laughs> so the next day we're back out here skydiving, man. I can barely fly. But, uh, well, Mike, thanks for being on the Skydiver Jump Story right, Show. All right, here's to you. All right. Good talking with you. All right. Die, die, story.